Good morning, guys. Today we're having breakfast on a traditional Chinese boat called Yaolu, and I'm so excited. I've never been on one of these boats. It's just incredible. It's so serene. Brian, how you doing? Shout out to all my fans. <laughs> All right, that was one of the most epic breakfasts of 2018. I was just so relaxed sitting there on the water, listening to the sounds of Chinese traditional music. And on that note, we are currently at a traditional Hangzhou opera called Yue, and we're going to learn how to become opera singers in the space of three hours. You know, some people take years and years to learn, but yeah, three hours and we'll have it down. No, no, it's going to be terrible. We've been asked to go on stage, but everyone's still just sitting out in the audience. So I'm just going to walk on and yeah I don't understand oh that was wonderful thank you <gasps> what's happening all right guys we've just dressed up look how pretty cute <laughs> oh and I got the pink one that I wanted and you look so cute in yours so in the end we didn't have to do any singing which was quite but it ended up being quite mad because so many people wanted to interview us for like local TVs and newspapers. This is actually my second time in China and I'm so excited to be back because it's my first time here in Hangzhou and it's such a beautiful city. All right guys, we just finished lunch and we're headed to Yungfu Temple, which is a really famous temple here in Hangzhou. And the surroundings just look beautiful already. I'm really excited for that serene, hey, <laughs> for that serene, beautiful feeling that you get when you walk through that environment. And I just love how green Hangzhou is. And his big belly is to bear all the intolerable things in the world. Oh. Yeah, so that's why he's got a big belly. He's a vegetarian actually. He doesn't <laughs> eat meat and no alcohol, no beer. So that's not the beer belly. <laughs> Ellie. Okay, so these are food dogs, or they're lions. Interesting fact, they don't have buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> that is an interesting fact. They're supposed to like take in all like the bad energy. And so you're saying they're like, full of shit? They're... yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just walking through the grounds of the temple on our way to a tea tasting ceremony, which I'm extremely excited about. The thing is, I'm quite sensitive to caffeine, so hopefully I'm not going to go absolutely bonkers. Guys, hashtag influencer. Oh my god. <laughs> this room at the Four Seasons where we're staying here in Hangzhou is just incredible. Excited to use this. There's even a TV right here, by the way, because of course there is. Oh, okay, we're just gonna end it right here for now. Good morning. I just got seven hours of sleep in this incredibly comfortable bed, and now I'm taking you and I to breakfast. So breakfast was incredible, and now I'm going into the spa for a treatment, and I can't wait. I feel like I need to be really quiet because it's so sad here, so let's just go. Chinese poets. 
Hangzhou is basically the silk capital of China. So today we're touring a museum that is all about silk. We're learning about how it's made and we're learning about how it's worn and it looks so beautiful. We've learned pretty much everything there is to know about silk. And now we're off for dinner on, I'm sorry, on a boat again. So we had breakfast on a boat and now we're having dinner on a boat. And this one looks so lovely. Good morning from rainy but beautiful Hangzhou. Today we're exploring the Leifan Pagoda, which is one of the biggest attractions in the city. This mini pagoda holds the remains in the form of hair of Buddha. having lunch at this really cute restaurant where all the food is medicinal and they add in little ingredients that are good for your immune system, they're good for your gut. This is the kind of dining that I really enjoy where it's all about feeding your mind and your soul and your body. <laughs> so lunch was really nice but today it was time to check out of the Four Seasons and I have to be honest that hotel was so incredible that I was very concerned for the next one because it has really big shoes to fill but my room at the Sofitel here in Hangzhou is really cool. So you walk in like this and then the first thing you see is the little living room slash working area. The views are much more urban this time, not as much nature, but you actually see Hangzhou. The bed is lovely and then as I was showing you, here is the bathroom, which is right inside the room, but you can't actually close it. I'm very excited to stay here for the next three nights before taking off and going to Beijing, which is so exciting. What is this called again? Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it She's turns out. Really, really well. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> good catch. <laughs> and now it's dinner time. I know we've done basically nothing but eat today, but that's a okay with me. And it looks gorgeous. The setting is just beautiful, and the views are even better. I don't know how much you can see behind me, and the weather's not been too cooperative, but. Up. <laughs> it's my final day in Hangzhou and we have officially come full circle. We're back at the Four Seasons, but today we're doing a press event with Chinese media and they've done these crazy huge cardboard cutouts with pictures of us and some of them are hilarious. So right now we're tasting a tea that's 23 years old. It's just a year younger than me, and it's very delicious. All of you using the Qing Dynasty tea cup. So what do you think the author of me breaking this? Well, I'm not quite sure. Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking like 95, so I'm going to put it down. <laughs> it's been a little bit rainy, but I don't even care. I honestly don't even care. I feel so relaxed, and I'm so happy to be here.